Hello, good day. This is Blessed Man 939. Today we are going to have a tutorial, a video tutorial on the free wallet. The free wallet, as the name implies, is free. It's an open source wallet that allows you to send and to receive Bitcoin and counterparty tokens. The free wallet has a mobile version and a desktop version. The mobile version allows you to run the wallet on Google Chrome. It has an Android version and it has an iOS version for iPhone, iPad. Okay, then the desktop version runs on the Ubuntu Linux, the Microsoft Windows, and of course the Macintosh for Apple products. In this video tutorial, we are going to look at a brief overview of the features of this free wallet. We're going to look at how to send your transactions, how to receive transactions, how to view your wallet address, how to change your wallet address. The difficulty level is basic. The requirements, internet connection to download the required application for this with video tutorial we are going to the android version has been downloaded already okay basic knowledge of cryptocurrency and tokens and how to operate your android uh, device okay so we'll move on to to the 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 crux of the video tutorial Okay, so we are going to briefly look at the features. Okay, it is secured. Okay, all encryption is under the client side. Neither your passphrase nor any of your private information leaves your browser, workstation, or mobile device. The passphrases are highly secured and protect your wallet from brute force attack of course it's simple your passphrase or when you're downloading okay your passphrase is literally your wallet okay all of your addresses keys are generated on the fly when you log in there are no wallet files to back up or secure using your passphrase you can access your wallet from any trusted machine with a web browser. Of course, it's open source. So we, I've already talked about that. It's available for anyone to, to review or to fork. Okay. The, the desktop version is still being worked upon because there are some components that are still in development like the decentralized exchange and the, and the betting interface which are still being worked upon but once this is completed this will also be open source that's for the desktop version and of course you can send bitcoin counterparty for any token you can receive Bitcoin counterparty and the token. You can issue tokens quickly and easily create your own tokens to use for whatever you would like. You can sign a transaction with any address in your wallet or sign a message that others can verify. You can broadcast any message to the Bitcoin blockchain for anyone to see. It has multiple support for it has multiple address supports multiple address as well as importing your private 
keys okay testnet is supported support for bitcoin core transaction password is protected is password protected you can add a pin you can use a thumbprint scan okay to give additional layer of security you have qr code authorization it's been supported and like i said earlier the decentralized exchange and the decentralized betting interface is being worked upon okay you can distribute token of your choosing to orders of any counterparty token so this is just a brief run rundown of the unique features of this free wallet okay so we are going to launch the free wallet right away okay it's coming up all right there you have it that's uh, i transferred about 1.5 dollar earlier today just for the purpose of this tutorial okay so there is the address one that's the balance of the account right now beside that you can check the history there's only one transaction which i did today that was around 241 in the morning then tools dot tools send receive issue token broadcast messages sign message this decentralized exchange of course about all you need to know about the free wallet of course you can make a, a donation okay you can also get more information on on it then of course you have the source code and of course the the settings and the settings you have the passphrase the address that's the first address that i was using then the network is a main net right now if you click on it you see test net as a minute i'll leave it to that uh, server information uh, that's about main net okay bitcoin test net okay and some other information of course device and android browser okay all of that so i'm just giving you a brief overview of of it uh, now if you click on the menu yes you, you see change ad wallet address view wallet address scan qr code send receive issue token then the others you 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 saw on that tools now let's view the big the address so this is the address i used to receive the, that particular transaction you can copy either copy you can change Click on change. Okay. You click on change. Yes. Okay. Let me go back. I, I pressed it twice. Okay. Change. Yes. So I used the first address okay to receive that particular transaction okay but you have other addresses that that can be used okay which i can choose for other transactions or i could use the same address okay so you have different address up to 10 address which i can select for receiving bitcoin and counterparty okay so if i want to change let's say i want to change it to the seventh address 
I just click on that. Okay. You see that on the settings, the label is the seventh address network still minute. I could choose to use the passcode or not to use the passcode, but it's switched off right now. So that is how to change your wallet address. Of course, how do you send? Okay. You click on send. Okay, there you have it. You're sending BTC. Yes. BTC. The balance is zero. Okay, there. Here you have a counter. You have the plus sign, you have the minus sign. You can either use that for the value of your transaction in dollars or in BTC. Okay, so you are using the plus sign. Okay, you see that the value is changing. Once you click on it, it keeps changing, keeps changing. Okay, and this is based on the current value of Bitcoin. Okay, you can also reduce it by just going down. All right, so let's say I want to send one dollar. Okay, priority. The transaction priority is set to low and that's the minor fee i can either increase that by dragging the the slider either to medium or to high once you drag it you're going to put your bitcoin the address to which you're sending it on the send to okay you put it then you click on send okay that's how to to, to send it's simple you can either set the transaction priority to high medium or low and once you you're doing that the fee transaction fee keeps changing Okay, now let's look at how to receive. Okay, so this is the address. And that's the, the code, the QR code. And this is the one I, I chose. Okay, BTC, I can change it anytime I want. Okay, as you can see, Okay, the address is the seventh address that I chose earlier. Okay, so you can also use the counter, the plus, and the and the minus sign. Okay, and you can see the the code changing each time I increase this. So this is highly highly secured okay it's highly secured you see it changing okay let me briefly show you how to send i've gotten a wallet address that i'm about to send to yes i'm putting that Okay, let's say I want to send a dollar since I don't have much on it. Okay, will I be able to send this for the, for the transaction fee? Okay, total exits available amount. Please.
this adjust the amount of minor fee okay we are unable to send because I, I don't have much on it okay i just have a dollar and 50 50 cents on it let's see if we could reduce that five let's see if of course the priority is set to low so this, this is the minimum transaction fee that we can incur for this particular transaction Let me check. Anyway. Okay, it has been sent all the way right now. Let me check. I have to change it back to the first to see if it has gone or not. Yeah, so that's address one. No, it has not gone. Uh, it has to do with the, the transaction fee is still high as you know bitcoin is high all right so we are going to look at the other features in the in subsequent videos so this is blessed man 939 again thank you for watching